Hello everybody and welcome back to more Dragon Age Origins. I'm the Wayfaring Pilgrim. When we last left off, we had a chat with everyone around camp, handed out a bunch of gifts, and we also completed our romance with Lele. Lana Mahariel finally confessed her love and spent the night with the red-headed bard. And with that done, we then made our way towards Orzammar. As we need to seek help from Orzammar's king to get the dwarves on our side, and aid against the blight, only to find that the king is actually a matter of debate right now. The previous king, Endrin, recently passed away, and there are now two lords vying for that position. Prince Balin, who believes that it is his right by blood, and Lord Harmont, who believes that it is his right, as Endrin allegedly said on his deathbed that Harmont was the preferred successor. The Dwarven Assembly has gone through a dozen votes already, unable to agree on a successor. There's a lot of tension and political games going on. And if we are to have any hope of getting the Dwarves on our side, we need to resolve this deadlock and pick a side. And what we're going to do in this session is we're going to do just that. We're going to pick a side see where that leads us. So, without further ado, let's get this session started. And a reasonably short intro there, which is all good. So, this is... The Lord Haramont is a uh, weak man, and he will be a weak king. Yes! Wow. Yeah, this is actually quite poetic, because in the UK, we recently had a general election. News of the hour. Is Lord Balin considering a dissolution of the ancient clans? He refuses to comment in the assembly. Yeah, we recently had a general election in the UK to decide our new government. So it seems quite poetic that we're at least making the first steps towards resolving another election in game. I've decided to side with Haramont as well. I was going to hold a poll on Twitter, but there's two reasons why that didn't happen. One, what now? I forgot. And two, if you guys had picked Balin, that wouldn't the have task sat is finished. well with me. Because look at it this way. I saw Balin kill someone who had a difference of opinion. His strategy is to spread dirt around about Haramont. He's been using blackmail and fear tactics to stop Haramont's fighters from competing and improving. And the only thing that Haramont's doing that's wrong is he promised some land to two different dashes, the same bit of land. Which isn't great, but what Balin is doing is leagues worse. You must be under great strain with the blight upon the land. I will pray to the stone for you. Okay. We had a name, but nothing interesting to say. So yeah, we're going to speak with Doolin. See what he wants us to do. Do you see how things lie, Warden? Lord Harrowmont cannot trust you unproven, but he welcomes a good faith gesture. What did you ask me to do again? Balin is hosting a proving tournament to honor his father's memory, but he somehow scared off most of Lord Harrowmont's fighters. If you can enter as Harrowmont's champion, you would prove your dedication well. The provings, tell me about them. The provings are how our ancestors show their judgment pitting body against body in a ring of scared stone. Everyone in Orzammar accepts that judgment. I think that's an error in the game there. Scared stone. Pretty sure it's supposed to be sacred stone, dude. Who is fighting for Balin today? The usual. A couple of Idukans, some Gavorns. He has many men lined up, but not all of them are top ranking. Pyotin Idukan and Wojcik Ivo are his best. They're both unpredictable and some of the best fighters Orzammar has seen. How well do you know Lord Haramont? 
I served under General Harrimont for three years. Under his command, every dwarven life is important. He would not waste even a single soldier. He's the King Orzammar needs, especially in a blight. Balin would call any fight a victory so long as he remains standing. I'll enter proving and see why the others withdrew. Excellent. The arena is located off the commons. Talk to the Proving Master and tell him you're entering Lord Harrimont's roster. The key fighters we lost were Guidon and Beisel. You can look for them in the fighters' preparation chambers behind the ring. And be sure it's before the fights begin. After the first bout, no one may change the roster. If you need to find me again, I will wait in the Tapster's Tavern off the commons. There is no better place to hear gossip. Perhaps even word of your victory. Okay, cool. So we know what we need to do. So we need to head back down to the commons. There are a few things that I forgot to do down there, so we can do that stuff. It'll be two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? Bronca didn't go alone, Ogren. She took the whole house, everybody but you. So just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon, or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exiled. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. Okay, so Ogren is a party member that we'll get later on. Our final party member. Finally. So. Codex entry. Whoa, fail. Back down to the commons. So there is a little quest that I missed. That we're going to do at least the first bits of. And we also need to give that quest in to the Chantry person as well. So we'll do that. This guy. I knew I should have stuck to common nugs. I've gone and lost them too. I'll never find them the way they skitter. Common nugs? I don't like those. They look dirty. No way I'm going back to that supplier in Dust Town. <sighs> Guess I'm shutting it down. These things dangerous? We gotta boil them before roasting, but otherwise, no, safe as sand. Some people swear they make good pets. May as well leash a turnip, I say. So they're only poisonous if you cook them wrong. If I see any nugs, I'll send them your way. Good on you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. Okay, so the one bad thing about this quest is you have to return one nug at a time to this guy. So it is a bit tedious, but it's a quest. Our first nug is here. And we can take this to him and we get a little bit of money for it. Go on, I'm out of the nug game. Got nothing to sell. I've got a nug for you. Here. Saraka, I'm back in the game. Such as it is. I don't have much besides gratitude. But find a bunch more of these and I'll toss you whatever I've found. Okay. And we'll have a look in every nook and cranny. Any nugs down here? No. This would be the perfect place for a secret, but no nugs. So, I've been hearing rumors that a certain wine merchant is falling behind on his payments. I... I can't imagine what you mean. I, I pay my expenses. What about the expenses your good friend Jarvia incurs when providing your protection? It's not easy ensuring nothing bad happens. That no one decides to just... burn everything in your store. My store! Please, I don't have much. Business isn't good. People are scared. T 
Tell Jarvie I'll get her money. I... Jarvie is not happy with your promises, old man. Now let's go inside and see what you've been holding back. Hmm. This isn't good. This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? You get, get out of here. This is private business. What's going on here? Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carta's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. The Carta? You really should learn more about the places you visit. The Carta is the foundation of business in Orzammar. It's a commercial venture of like-minded individuals who make money in whatever way suits their talents. Or a gang of thieves running a protection racket. You say protection racket, I say honorable business. You say thief, I say dead elf. That sounded like a threat. Are you going to make your donation to the Stranger Safety Fund? Or do I have to show you how dangerous Orzammar is? Take a good look. Do you really want to start this? Whoa, whoa. All right, you win. I'm not going to die for ten lousy sovereigns. That's right. Scarpa. A little look around, no codex entries, anything back here? Nope. Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. What do you know about this Javia? I... I've never met her, of course. They say she never leaves Dust Town. That's, uh, the older area of the city where the castless congregate. She's the one directing this depravity. Since good King Endrin died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons, shaking honest men down for coin. What do you know about her carter? A band of castless thugs. They're to blame for all the crime in Orzammar these days. They're criminals, and the children of criminals. The ancestors themselves declared them irredeemable. Their children as well? You go that far? Their births are abominations. They were born from no Kalna, with no acknowledgement by the Shapers. They are destined to be criminals. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm grateful for your help, but I don't think we have any more to talk about. Did you have something more pleasant you wish to discuss? I want to see what you have for sale. I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford, I assure you. Okay, so we can buy potions from him. And a lot of them. We'll buy the flasks. Health potions. Some lyrium potions. We'll buy the injury kits, why not? There's some stuff for bombs, so we'll take these lyrium dust to make lyrium potions that's good some elf fruit as well um we've got some distillation agent so that's fine uh we'll buy a few more flasks as well and we'll buy the gift and then we can see if we have anything to sell to him. Like these boots, don't need that. I need to think about using these at some point. 
Maybe after the proving. Anything else to sell? Or is it just the boots? Just the boots. And then what we can do is I can make a bunch of bombs. And Morrigan can make some potions for us. So I'll make one of these. And let's see what we've got here. I'll make a couple of medium strength health potions as well. I bought some less lyrium, so I'll make some normal lyrium. Surely there are better uses for our time. And I think that's it. 23 potions is okay. Did you have something more pleasant you wish to discuss? Let me see what you have again. I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford. I assure you. It's fine, dude. It's fine. You gotta do what you gotta do. We'll buy a few more of these flasks to get a nice round figure. And we are good. So yeah. I think that's the last shop we can actually go to to get potions. Okay, let's head back down this way and give the nug to this guy. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. So yeah, we get 12 silver for each nug we find, so we are making up for the money we spent. here. Dagon is still waiting for us patiently. The guard is still there. And yeah, not really a lot to say. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. So I know of two more, but I also know that we need more than two more, but I don't know where they are. So we're just going to find the ones we can find for the moment. We'll talk to a brother Berkeley in a second. Pick the nick. Andraste teaches that patience is the child of wisdom, but I'm eager to hear if you've seen the Shaper. He has agreed to let you hold prayer meetings. Oh, praise the Maker! You truly walk in the light, friend. I already found a convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry. It's just by the tapsters. Please, come to our first service. So I believe that this is the new chantry. It does look quite church-like with its stained glass windows. Can't go in yet. But if there is a prayer meeting, go in when we're back here. We'll go in. For now, we're going to head back to the Nug Wrangler, give him another one, and then there's one down there as well, which we can pick up, and then we'll go to the Proving. You're the best Wrangler I've ever seen. I imagine you have already composed a suitable ballad to commemorate the events at Redcliffe, Leliana. Why would I do such a thing? You have taken up your instruments once again, have you not? So to speak, a bard takes events of great import and puts them to tail. What happened at Redcliffe was horrible. So many people died, and they were violated by unimaginable evil forces. That was not so difficult, was it? You may wish to add music, however. You make it sound as if you enjoyed what happened there. I can barely stomach to think of it. But we were successful in the end. Victory without cost has little worth. I just think of what that poor little boy went through. No, I don't want to glorify what happened there. Then who will learn from these events? I would think on it some more, were I you. To be fair, Lele, Morrigan does have a point. Things like that need to be immortalized in song. So people may learn of these events of more tumultuous times. 
You're the best wrangler I know. 